maybe you can comment to that about how, you know, having that DFMM early helps us scale. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, <clears throat> it's important that we have a game plan that where we are going to have a, a robust tool. Mm-hmm. And so having those discussions up front uh, can really help that out. Uh, we can we can kind of steer them in a direction where, hey, this right now, the way you've got it, this is a very fragile piece of steel. It's probably going to, you know, wear and break mm-hmm. and have to be replaced frequently. Nobody wants that for mm-hmm. their production tools, right? So, <clears throat> yeah, being able to help them see the reasons we're asking for the questions, too, of why, hey, can we change this? Yeah. And this is why. And then they're usually pretty uh, open to that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, I think there's something to be said that like, you know, making one of anything or even a hundred of something is good, but being able to make a million or 10 million is a totally different conversation. So that's really where that DFMM I think shines the most from a sales perspective is like understanding and setting those expectations that this is like a, a robust solution for now and a year from now as well. 